Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. You are at Perfectly Imperfect Designs. My name is Teresa and today we're going to make a different version of the yardstick cross. One yardstick is all that you're going to need. Uh, you know, just the entire yardstick. My crossbar that's going to go across it is cut to 15 inches and the remaining part of it is going to be the spine or the middle part going down the middle. So you need a 36 inch of course yardstick, that's the only way they come. And I'm going to paint mine before I glue it together just so it has more of a finished look. The back of it's going to show and I just don't want the numbers to show. So I usually paint the front and the back of my yardstick and that's what I'm going to do again. And hey you guys, if you are returning, thank you. Please hit the notification bell and when you hit that, push all notifications if you would. And give me a thumbs up because that's what helps my channel grow. I'm going to paint both sides. Okay, you guys, I finished completing the yardsticks. I have them both painted. And now I'm going to take my E6000. I've marked right here on the spine of the cross at 6 inches down. This, it, this is 20 and a half inches long. So I went six inches, 6 inches down on it. This is 15 inches long. So I went to the seven and a half mark and marked that. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of E6000. I don't trust just hot glue by itself. And then put some hot glue for instant hold. Then I got to let that E6000 set up. I'm going to clamp this so it stays together, making sure that my stick, my cross stick is straight and not slanted to one side or the other. Okay, I've got that like that. And now I'm just going to let this set up. And when I come back, we'll start folding the petals and putting them on the cross. It's going to be a different fold. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to do the new petal fold. It's quite different than it was last time I did this. We take our 10 inch piece of fabric mesh, um, curl side up, then I take, can't really tell on this piece of mesh which side is the manufactured side, but if you look real close, you can. And I'll have the description number or the item number to all the different meshes that I'm using in the description box below. Well, I'm going to be using this blue, royal blue mesh. This is a fabric mesh and it has um, silver in it. And then this is red um, Gilux foil mesh. Or it may just be called red um, high foil. I'll, just, I'll look for the real name of it when I want to get off of here. But for now, um, got my yard stick all done. I'm going to take my square. And this is going to be different than the last petal that we made. We're still going to do this, and my reasoning for, I'm going to be putting two petals into each zip tie, and you'll see when I get to that point, my reasoning for why I'm doing it this way. Okay, I'm just going to go up the center, but this time, instead of just pulling it up like this, I'm going to fold it over on top of itself, squeeze that down. Um, again, I use rubber bands, hair elastics, I think they're called, at the Dollar Tree. Get them in a bag, I just put them in this. And then I use these to go around the end. Now, since we have, see we got this lump right here. And since it's like a double petal right here, I'm going to take the scissors and just simply cut this off. So that we only have this little bitty piece sticking out. Because this is going to make the petal lay flat on the um, yardstick instead of at a slant to where it's sticking out like this. We want it to stay as close to the yardstick frame as we can. So let me show you that again. I'll do it with the blue one. And instead of just going over and over the fold a lot, you guys can just rewind. 
and see how I do it. Again, take our square, sides up, fold it into a triangle again. And we're going to start out with like the Rita petal, scrunch it up to the point. But we're not going to keep it that way because we're going to take one side and lay it over the other side. And then again, take the rubber band. I call them rubber bands. I, don't, I guess they're called elastics. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so then I just take this because that's big and bulky. And we try to put that on the two of these in every zip tie. Then it's going to be too bulky. So I just cut off this little piece. Okay, I've already got a few of them made up. I'll stop if we need more. Um, and we're doing the same thing with the red. Let me get my zip ties on here. Don't know exactly how many I'm going to need again. Just pull it till it clicks so that you're able to get the bottom of that petal up underneath it. Okay, I think I'll start with I think I'll start with six. I think I'm going to need more than six, but you know, I can always add more. One, two, three, four. I'll do two more on the bottom middle. Okay, I'm going to do this bottom middle first and wake work my way up. I mean, you can do it any way you guys want to do it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, for this petal, I'm going to take two of these, match them up. So I'm putting them on like this. Bring my zip tie down. Slide this underneath. And this is pretty thick. Now, I'm used to doing this with one petal. But in order for it to come out looking like, um, you know, to resemble the same pattern as the American flag. I need my, here they are. There we go. And then cut it off. Next one I'm going to do with two whites. So you have, I folded the petals like this and I'm going to put these together pull down the next zip tie stick it up underneath the zip tie and again pull it tight now I I thought this would be a good time to show you this new petal fold and pattern because you'll be able to make one in time for 4th of July. Oh, better get my trash can over here. We're making a mess. Okay, again. Two red this time. Putting them back to back. Pull down my next zip tie. Put it under there. Trying to get it as close to the previous one as you can without it sticking straight out of the, without looking like it's sticking straight out. You want it to kind of lay down. And right now I'm putting these the way the pattern that I'm going in. Of course, to represent the stripes, the red and white stripes on the flag. Maybe you guys can see better this way. It's just really necessary to cut that off because look how big that is. That's this one's not cut, and I've even got some that are bigger. And then if you put that in and try to put the next one in, it stands up. We don't want that. Okay, white. Next zip tie. You 
It's all rainy and dreary here in Indiana today. But I think it did cool off a bit. This will probably be my last summer wreath or cross that I'll make. But I wanted to get this video in before July 4th so that you guys could. What I do when you don't know those pliers. Now, I wanted to get this video in before July 4th so you don't have time to make a cross like this. And all you're going to need is a yardstick. If you even if you go to a home improvement store, if you don't have a yardstick and ask about one, they'll usually sell you one for about 75 cents, which is way cheaper than a wreath frame. And you really can't make a cross out of a regular wreath frame. I don't know. You guys can make what you want. I'm just showing you my idea of how to do this. So see, we're getting the red, white, red, white on here. Back to the red. Alright, stick these up underneath. Straighten out the pedal. Pull it. Bar. Hey, white. Now when we get to the blue part of the flag, I'm going to do that way different. I added four more zip ties. So now it's time for our red. We got our red and white stripes going on. Or not actually red and white stripes, but we have our red and white mesh that I've put in the place to kind of represent the stripes on the flag. Cut this off. Two more whites. Now up on here, here, and here, I'm going to do these differently. It won't be just like this. Okay, now for red. One under there. Oh, it's backwards. See what I mean, guys? I don't, I don't take all the mistakes out. I'm only human. Okay, the next one up underneath there. Set these where I think they should go. Then pull down the zip tie. Tighten it up. And if you make sure you get enough of that tip of your petal up underneath there, you won't have to worry about it coming out. But I still cut them so that it would be a little bit more flat. It's not much more flat, but, you know, I didn't know that until I started using them. First time I've ever made this petal on any type of wreath, the double petal. Alright, now to the white. Do I have a zip tie? Yes, I do. White. And tighten it up. Okay, for the top, I'm going to start up here now. And since I started with red down there, I'm going to start with red up here. But, the thing I'm going to do different up here, I'm going to use the two petals, and this was my reasoning for doing it this way. I'm going to use the two petals, but I'm going to put blue on the, my left side. So, I'll be doing white, red, white, red, and then all these will be blue. Got to get some zip ties on here. Okay, so I want blue. Again, on my left, on my left, it probably looks like right to you. Okay, up, 
put the zip tie over them again and tighten it up. Now I've got my blue started and the red. Not sure if I'm going to put uh, stars on this. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. There's no way I would ever be able to fit 50 stars on it. Again, I'm using blue on the left, on my left. This time I will use it with a white. Because I want the stripes coming down as red, white, you know. Red, white, red, white, and then all blue on this side. There we go. It's in there tight. And it's laying down nicely. I really appreciate you guys joining me today. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my YouTube channel. That would be wonderful. And leave me a comment if you would to let me know at the end by the end of this if you would have used a sign or a bow. Or maybe both. Okay, I only have one zip tie left on here because I only put three on to start. Okay, the blue and white again. Make sure that previous zip tie is covered up. And pull it up. But for now, I'm going to start on this side with blue, all blue. Get my zip ties on here. I don't know how many it's going to take to get across the crossbar. I'll start out with four. Okay, I'm going to pull down one on this very end. Put two, put two blue together. Making sure that the zip tie is up and over the ends where my rubber band's holding the pedals together. And tightening it up. Okay, got the blue on here. Two more blue. Got up underneath there. Okay, you guys, I'm going to work my way to the center, putting in blue petals only. Two in each. Two in each zip tie and I'll be back when I get to the middle okay you guys I'm coming up to the last blue one I'm going to place I think I may put another one in here I'll see how much room I have and at the end I will probably put a blue one here a white one here and you'll see as we go but I've got this side done I didn't want you guys to sit, have to sit and watch you put on every pedal. Okay, cut that off. Make sure that's not going anywhere. And I'll start loading up the zip ties to the other side of the cross. Now for these zip ties, I'm going to place the pedals exactly the same way as I did these because we want for these to be all red and white not sure how many it's going to take you see how many I have on the other side to go by I have one, two, three, four, five, six zip ties for just the plain blue and put these on here
Now you guys know how to make a frameless cross wreath. You can save so much money. Make sure that's even. One below. Hey, the next one white. This white mesh is really thick, so. Okay, the red and the white. And we're just going to repeat the red and the white all the way till the middle of the cross. And I'm just going to go ahead and go, you know, red, white, red, white. And then when we get to here, I'll show you what we're going to do in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to put red on this one, but I think I'm going to end in white. Let me see if I have these. I have the same amount on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six blue. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to put, I've got one zip tie on here. I'm going to put one more on there. And that is what I'll end on. That way I end with a white. I'm going to add a red to this and then we'll end with a white. And I ended with white here, so I want to end with white here as well. You guys, I make all kinds of wreaths. I make wreath signs. So check those out in my Etsy shop. It's listed below in the description. I would greatly appreciate it. I have signs and ribbon sets as well. That was my trusty little rock. Okay, guys, let me grab my bow. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, you guys, this is the bow that I have made for the cross. Just a basic red, white, and blue bow. I pre-made this, not knowing if I was going to put a sign or a bow. In my previous videos, I've asked whether they like whether you guys like the uh, sign or the bow and the bow has always won it is like 90 percent voted for the bow of course i could stand here and fluff for days on end so i'm not going to do that and keep you all again if you haven't subscribed please do so and give me a thumbs up that's the best compliment that you can give me and share my video with family and friends. Okay, I'm just going to tie this on the back. And then I can cut that off and it won't scratch anyone's door. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hang this up and get a picture of it. Of course, I, I curl my tails. That's just something I do with my bows. I just take my ribbon and I dub tail the end of it and I just curl it up into a spiral curl and pull it down so it's curly. I don't like my both uh, tails to be exactly the same length. I just don't like that blunt cut across there. I'd rather than be a little bit uh, staggered. So here we go. Let me get a picture and I'll ha let me hang it up and I'll get a picture. And hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please come back and see my other videos that I have out. Um, please subscribe and share with your friends and family. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.